Top 10 Things to Do in Belgrade Hello and welcome to our video about the top 10 things to do in Belgrade, a city with a fascinating history and a unique blend of Eastern and Western influences. Known for its delicious cuisine, nightlife and stunning architecture, Belgrade offers visitors an unforgettable melting pot of culture. Make sure to watch until the end, as we've saved the best thing to do in Belgrade for last. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the best travel information about Europe. We use a mix of travel experience, a lot of local knowledge and reviews to provide you with the most reliable and relevant travel information in Europe. So be sure to visit our website for the biggest travel website about Europe. Belgrade is the capital city of Serbia. Located in the Balkans at the confluence of the Sava and Danube rivers, the population of Belgrade is approximately 1.23 million people, making it the largest city in Serbia and one of the largest in the Balkans. Whether you're looking to immerse yourself in the city's 7,000 years of history, soak up the local culture, or simply let loose and party, Belgrade has something to offer everyone. Sample traditional Serbian dishes like Sevabi, Ajva and Rakija at the city's numerous restaurants and cafes. Take a stroll along the Danube or attend a concert or festival at one of the city's many cultural venues. Whether you're interested in art, music or simply enjoying the city's laid-back atmosphere, Belgrade is a destination not to be missed. Belgrade is known locally as Biograd, which means White Fortress or White City. The architecture of Belgrade is a fascinating mix of styles and influences from various cultures and periods. From the ancient Roman ruins of Belgrade Fortress to the modernist buildings of New Belgrade, the city's architecture tells a compelling story of a city in constant progress. Belgrade has a rich history dating back to prehistoric times. Throughout the centuries, it's been under the rule of the Celts, Romans, Byzantines, Ottomans, Austro-Hungarians and finally the Yugoslavs. In the 20th century, Belgrade was the capital of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia and finally the Republic of Serbia. The city has been through wars, sieges and bombings, but has always managed to rebuild and reinvent itself. Today, Belgrade is a vibrant city that showcases its past and present through its culture, architecture and people. Now, let's take a look at the top 10 things to do in this amazing city. Number 10. Explore the Zimun district. Zimun is a historic district located in the municipality of New Belgrade. The district is situated on the banks of the Danube River and is famous for its beautiful architecture, cobblestone streets and lively atmosphere. Once an independent town, Zimun has retained its own unique charm and identity, even after being incorporated into Belgrade in the 1930s. Exploring Zimun is a must-do activity for anyone visiting Belgrade. Start by taking a stroll along the pedestrianized main street, Gospodska, and admire the colorful facades of the 19th century buildings that line the street. Don't miss the iconic white Zimun clock tower, a symbol of the district's rich history. Visit the Zimun Market, one of the oldest in Belgrade, to experience the bustling atmosphere and try local food, such as smoked meat and cheese, pastries and fresh produce. Enjoy a drink in one of the many cafes or bars in the area, such as the charming Zaran Fisherman's Tavern or the trendy Cafeteria Coffee Shop. A visit to Zimun would not be complete without seeing the Gardos Tower, a 19th century lookout tower that offers panoramic views of the city and the Danube River. Walk up to the top of the tower for a stunning view of the surrounding area. Another must-see attraction in Zimun is the Madlenium Opera and Theatre, a modern and well-respected cultural institution that hosts a range of performances, including ballet, opera and theatre. The building itself is an architectural masterpiece designed to resemble a ship sailing on the Danube River. Number 9. Try Serbian Cuisine Serbian cuisine is a reflection of the country's rich cultural heritage and diversity. It's influenced by Turkish, Hungarian and Austrian cuisines, among others. Going on a food tour in Belgrade is a must-try for food enthusiasts who want to explore the traditional Serbian dishes and experience the local food scene. Some of the popular dishes to try include cevapi, a type of grilled minced meat served with bread, kajmak, a creamy dairy product, burek, a savoury pastry filled with meat, cheese or vegetables, and ajvar, a roasted red pepper and eggplant spread. 
Visitors can also indulge in Serbian sweets, such as baklava and krampita, which are widely available in local bakeries and pastry shops. One of the unique and lesser-known Serbian dishes is the grilled freshwater fish, such as the Danube salmon, which is caught locally and served with roasted vegetables and potatoes. The Serbian cuisine also features a wide range of meat dishes, including roasted lamb and pork, as well as stews and soups. A food tour in Belgrade provides a unique opportunity to explore the city's culinary history and culture. Visitors can discover local eateries and markets, meet the owners and chefs, and taste the traditional dishes while learning about their origins and preparation methods. The tour guides can provide insight into the history and culture of Serbian cuisine, which has been influenced by centuries of migration and cultural exchange. Number 8. Visit Ada Siganlija Island Ada Siganlija is a unique and stunning destination located in Belgrade. It's a river island located on the Sava River and is one of the most popular recreational spots in the city. Ada, as the locals call it, is an oasis of greenery and fresh air, just a few kilometers away from the bustling city center. The island is surrounded by sandy beaches and crystal clear waters, making it a perfect spot for swimming, sunbathing and water sports. The island also boasts several cafes, restaurants and bars, offering a perfect ambience to unwind and relax. Additionally, there are plenty of picnic spots, bike trails and walking paths that make the island a perfect place to spend an entire day with family and friends. One of the most popular activities on the island is cycling. With over 8 kilometers of well-marked bike trails, cycling is a perfect way to explore the lush greenery and breathtaking views of the island. Visitors can rent a bike on the island or bring their own. Additionally, there are plenty of water sports activities available on the island such as kayaking, paddleboarding, and windsurfing. Arda is not just a recreational sport, but also has a rich history. During the Ottoman Empire, Arda was a strategic military location for the city's defense. In the early 20th century, Arda was converted into a recreational spot and has since become one of the most popular tourist destinations in Belgrade. Number seven, take a boat ride on the Danube River. A boat ride on the Danube River in Belgrade is an experience not to be missed. It offers breathtaking views of the city from a different perspective, allowing visitors to appreciate the beauty of the city from a distance. As you sail down the river, you'll see the stunning Belgrade Fortress, the impressive Cathedral of St. Sava, the striking modern architecture of the Belgrade waterfront and the charming neighborhoods along the riverbank. The river is also a great way to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and enjoy a peaceful and serene atmosphere. There are many different types of boat tours available, from private boat tours to group tours. Some tours include lunch or dinner on board, offering a unique dining experience while enjoying the scenic views. Others offer party boats with live music, perfect for those looking for a lively night out on the water. Overall, a boat ride on the Danube River in Belgrade is a must-do experience, offering stunning views of the city, a chance to escape the city crowds, and unique dining and entertainment options. Number 6. Enjoy the nightlife. Belgrade is famous for its vibrant nightlife and it's considered one of the best cities in Europe to party. The city has a diverse range of clubs, bars and restaurants that cater to all tastes and budgets. The nightlife scene in Belgrade is often compared to that of Berlin, with its underground clubs and parties that last until the early hours of the morning. One of the most popular nightlife areas in Belgrade is the Skadarlija district, known for its bohemian atmosphere, live music and traditional Serbian food. Another popular spot is the Sava Mala district, with its trendy bars and clubs that attract a young and hip crowd. During the summer months, Belgrade's floating clubs on the Danube River are a must visit. These clubs offer a unique experience, with live music, DJs and drinks served on the water. One of the most popular floating clubs is the famous Splavovi, located on the Sava River. Apart from the clubs and bars, Belgrade also has a vibrant cafe culture. The city is filled with cozy cafes, where you can enjoy a cup of coffee or tea and socialize with locals. One of the best things about the nightlife in Belgrade is that it's affordable compared to other European cities. You can enjoy a night out without breaking the bank, and there's something for everyone. Overall, if you're looking for a lively and unforgettable nightlife experience, 
Belgrade is definitely the place to be. Number 5. Check out the Museum of Yugoslavia. The Museum of Yugoslavia is located in the Dedinje district of Belgrade and is dedicated to the history of Yugoslavia, a country that existed from 1945 to 1992. The museum complex consists of several buildings and houses a vast collection of exhibits, including political documents, personal belongings of Yugoslav leaders, art pieces, photographs and other memorabilia from the era. The most prominent exhibition is the Memorial Museum of Josip Broz Tito, the former president of Yugoslavia, where visitors can see his office and apartment. The museum also includes a display of more than 125,000 gifts received by Tito during his life from heads of state, organizations and ordinary people from around the world. One of the highlights of the museum is Tito's grave, which is located in the mausoleum section of the complex. The tomb is a remarkable piece of architecture and is made of white marble. The Museum of Yugoslavia also features an exhibition of Yugoslav art with over 6,000 works of art from the 20th century, including paintings, sculptures and installations. The museum's collection includes a library and archives which are accessible to researchers and scholars interested in Yugoslav history, politics and culture. Visiting the Museum of Yugoslavia is a unique opportunity to learn about the complex history of the country and its impact on the region and the world. The museum is a must-visit for history and art enthusiasts, as well as anyone interested in learning about the political and cultural legacy of Yugoslavia. Number 4. Visit St. Sava Temple St. Sava Temple is one of the most impressive landmarks in Belgrade. This Orthodox church is named after St. Sava the founder of the Serbian Orthodox Church and the first Archbishop of Serbia. The construction of the church began in the 1930s and lasted for over 80 years. It was finally completed in 2020, making it one of the largest Orthodox churches in the world. The exterior of the church is adorned with white marble and has a distinctive Byzantine style. The interior is even more impressive, featuring frescoes, mosaics and intricate wood carvings. The central dome is over 70 meters high, making it one of the tallest in the world. With a capacity of over 10,000 people, the church can easily accommodate large congregations. The church is also an important cultural center in Belgrade, hosting numerous concerts, exhibitions and other events throughout the year. Visitors can attend performances of Serbian Orthodox music or admire the works of local artists. St. Sava Temple is named after St. Sava, who is revered as a national hero in Serbia. His legacy is celebrated throughout the country, and the temple is a symbol of the strong cultural and spiritual ties that bind the Serbian people. Number 3. Explore the Nikola Tesla Museum The Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade is a must-visit destination for any history or science enthusiast. The museum is dedicated to the life and work of one of the most brilliant inventors of all time, Nikola Tesla. Born in modern-day Croatia in 1856, Tesla became famous for his pioneering work in the fields of electricity and magnetism. The museum, housed in a beautiful old villa, features a wealth of exhibits and interactive displays that showcase Tesla's many inventions and contributions to the field of science. Visitors can see some of Tesla's original equipment including the famous Tesla coil, which produces spectacular electrical discharges. The museum also features interactive displays that allow visitors to experiment with the principles of electricity and magnetism, giving them a first-hand understanding of the work that Tesla pioneered. Perhaps the most exciting part of the museum is the opportunity to see Tesla's personal belongings, including his desk, his books and even his ashes. The museum's knowledgeable guides are on hand to answer any questions and provide in-depth explanations of Tesla's work and its significance. Visiting the Nikola Tesla Museum is a unique and enriching experience that offers insight into the life and work of one of the most important inventors in history. Not only is it a chance to see some incredible inventions up close, but it's also an opportunity to learn about the scientific principles that make our modern world possible. Number 2 Stroll along Knez Mihailova Street. Knez Mihailova Street is the main pedestrian and shopping zone in the heart of Belgrade. It's named after Prince Mihailo Obrenovic III, who ruled Serbia in the mid 19th century. The street is lined with elegant buildings from the 19th and early 20th century, 
with a mix of styles that reflect Belgrade's complex history. The street is a great place for a stroll, with plenty of shops, cafes and restaurants to explore. Walking down Knez Mihailova Street is a great way to experience the energy of Belgrade's city centre. The street is always lively, with street performers and musicians adding to the atmosphere. You can take a break from shopping and enjoy a coffee or a meal at one of the many outdoor cafes. The street is also home to several museums, including the Museum of Applied Arts and the Ethnographic Museum. Knez Mihailova Street is the perfect place for shopping in Belgrade, with a wide range of local and international brands represented. You can find everything from high-end fashion to traditional souvenirs, with prices to suit every budget. The street is also home to several department stores, including the iconic Rajacheva shopping centre, which is located in a beautifully restored 19th century building. In addition to shopping and dining, Knez Mihailova Street is a great place to learn about Belgrade's history and culture. Many of the buildings on the street have plaques that provide information about their history and significance. The street is also home to several important cultural institutions, including the National Theatre and the Serbian Academy of Sciences and Arts. Number 1. Visit Belgrade Fortress The best thing to do in Belgrade is to explore Belgrade Fortress. Belgrade Fortress is a magnificent structure in the heart of Belgrade that's played a significant role in the city's history. The fortress, also known as Kalimegdan Fortress, sits atop a hill overlooking the confluence of the Sava and Danube rivers, offering stunning views of the city below. Originally built by the Celts in the 3rd century BC, the fortress has been destroyed and rebuilt many times over the centuries by various empires, including the Romans, Byzantines, Ottomans and Austro-Hungarians. Visitors to the fortress can explore the ramparts and walls, ancient gates, towers and the well-preserved 18th century military barracks. They can also take a stroll through the scenic Kalamegdan Park, which covers over 125 acres of land within the fortress walls. The park features beautiful gardens, fountains, monuments and several museums, including the Military Museum and the Natural History Museum. One of the most remarkable parts of the fortress is the Roman Well, an impressive feat of engineering that dates back to the 18th century. It's a spiral staircase with 212 steps, leading down to a depth of 51 meters, where visitors can see the water at the bottom of the well. Another must-see attraction is the Victor Monument, a towering statue that commemorates Serbia's victory in World War I. There are several cafes and restaurants within the fortress walls, offering visitors the opportunity to enjoy a meal or a cup of coffee while taking in the stunning views of the city and the rivers. The fortress is also a popular spot for outdoor concerts, festivals and cultural events throughout the year. Overall, the Belgrade Fortress is a unique and fascinating attraction that offers visitors a glimpse into the rich history and culture of Belgrade. Whether you're interested in history, architecture or simply want to enjoy the stunning views, the fortress is definitely worth a visit. That's the end of our video of the top 10 things to do in Belgrade. Check out more amazing videos on our YouTube channel or visit our website to find the best travel deals to Europe. See you next time.